we lost so much people oh my gosh like chadwick basement your bracket panther he died you guys i cried like because i really loved him in that movie like oh my god he really acted really go cool. like he I, I i fell in love with in, in his character pretty much i i was like oh my gosh like his accent was everything like oh my gosh like yo and then he died like it was a shocking to me Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to Alec Orkafra. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe before you before you watch this video. Sub subscribe there. It takes one second. Subscribe so you can join Alice Ark fans. <laughs> All the Ark fans, so you'll be able to see my content. You know. So yeah, subscribe. Yeah, welcome back once again. So yeah, um, today I have a special topic. <laughs> so you guys, uh, today's topic is nothing other than saying that can we just cancel this year? Like this year, it's canceled. Like this year doesn't count. So, like we should just skip this year. <laughs> like we should just skip it and start a brand new year as soon as possible right now because we are tired of this year we like it's like it's too much it's too much to handle it's too much to see it's too much to ooh, too much to think like so much terrible thing has been happening like it's so much that it's countless like i can count so many bad things that has been happening like around the world during this year since this year started and I can't finish like I will list and the list will go on and on it's just too much <laughs> so yeah um, and that has been happening that it's hard to breathe it's just hard to for it to sink in like to think like wow like is this real <laughs> sometimes you feel like am I dreaming like this is really truly happening yeah like since this just started I just feel like everything just went out of place coronavirus kicked in a lot of people died and lots a lot of people died yeah from it like it affected the you know the whole world the world whole world have to be locked down as you all know you've been in a quarantine for you know past months and stuff you know and after that like you know the police brutality kicked in and people started protesting um people you know protesting about black lives matter and the whole you know the whole world like stood up like you know protesting saying like you know black lives matter because of um whatever the police police brutality that was hap happening mostly against like black men and stuff you know so like from there like yo for my side we lost Burundian president like our beloved president president died like someone who like who helped the country to come together to who helped to, to bring peace in burundi again who united the burundians that were separated and fight against each other for so long you know so like he died and we had to elect a new president so there was so much went on like that the president died and then he was doing the election he died that uh like the next month they were gonna elect you know they were gonna um the 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 the, the pre they had already just elected the president and then he died so the president was gonna swore swore in like a month later you know so that i think happened it happened in Bolondi like yeah go and bed <laughs> the most traumatic thing and the tragic thing was losing our president and Getting Kulunziza, cool and also the most exciting thing was to have another new leader, like a new leader who is ready for the people and want to see Burundi thrive and the Burundians thrive and Burundians having an open minded of accepting one another and working together and taking the lead. 
And then from there, here comes, we don't see so many people in the Mabruni and American community, like people from car accident, people who died from uh, gun violence, people who died from just like natural diseases. Like we lost so much people, young boys and stuff. It's so, it's so sad that our young kids are dying from like gun violence because most of them like, of course they are, they are under 21 and they don't know any better our gays. So they join like bad people, like bad influence to them, and then they end up like putting themselves in trouble, and that's happened to them. I just feel like it's something needs to change the way really parents and close the families and the community have to come together and really solve this issue because it's sad to see young kids dying when they could have a brighter future for themselves, for their family, for the community, for the country, for the world. Like who knows who they could be? Like maybe somebody who can do something um, impactful to the world, you know? So it's really sad, you know? And then from there, you guys, social media has been going like insane. Like, you know, there's so much going on, like on social media, so much sarcasm, and so much like, how would I say, so much craziness, so much like this, social media is going, <laughs> it's going like this I mean there's a good a huge good part of social media that you can connect with people that you can learn from people that you can um, inform people entertain people that you can really connect and see what's going on in the other side of the world with people and, and also there's another side where people also like act ne negative but they just pull out this negative vibe that you just feeling like yo like uh -uh, this is not good <laughs> So yeah, um, social media has been not so good. <laughs> really, like everybody just acting up. Like, really, like we don't have to do that. Like, it's social media, guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it's just so crazy. And from there, yeah, we heard this. What is it? Nine? Just a couple of days ago, we heard this like 9/11 remembrance and. What they were remembering like the terror attack that happened in 9 11 in 2021 i mean like it's sad that there was some innocent people that died you know and it's just it's just crazy that this is the world that we live in yeah like everything just together has just been crazy and from this terror attack you just you just feel like how come like us humans hate one another so much like we are our own worst enemies like if we can come like i don't know if it's possible i don't know if it will, even will be possible but if we can love one another this world will be peace but we can live in peace and then help one another to be better people and instead of like killing one another but every time you look around it's people killed someone killing each other words hunger what who knows like police brutality too much hate and you be like oh my gosh like this thing makes animals look look so much better than than humans like it's like animals don't even eat each other anymore <laughs> animals don't even fight anymore but humans out here like killing each other hating each other it's just it's just hard to see it's just it's just like wow like it's so crazy that humans can turn evil, like humans can turn against each other, you know, it's just so bad, and like for real, like it's so funny that every time I see this like remembrance thing, like oh, nine and every remembrance, sort of what remembrance, like it just, it just takes me back about Burundi and his past, about like what happens and stuff, how like Burundi's tribes, like in Burundi we have like three tribes, which is our Hutu, Two teas and twice, which is twice they don't even not even mentioning mention them so much. But for so long they were separated, which like one group which was Tutsi had all the power for so many years and it was like almost like um they didn't want to include the other tribes and they were always discriminated and stuff and to the point where uh, since 1950s all the way to 1990s they were killing them, like killing them, like almost like trying to uh what is a finish him like to <laughs> to make them disappear in the country anymore but god protected but what did the mass killing took a place i think in 1992 that's what the mass killings took a place and it was genocide like no question of genocide 
but to this point uh nobody knows no like it's not known around the world like the what happened to the Hutu tribes of Burundi it's it's a treasury it's sad it's unbelievable but it's so funny that there's no books no tvs no influencers no human rights no activists no no people talks about it or covers it no website that really covers it you know it's not as known and it's, it's one of the huge genocide i think happening in the world like what millions and millions of people died since 1950s to 1990s but the mass killings took place in 1972 you know so it's just sad like that's why like every time i see this remember it just takes me back and i'm like how come like, people who committed this crime this killing this genocide is still free and still just you know feel it looks like nothing happened like they haven't been brought to the justice and be asked and be punished for what they have done because they really killed a lot of people and they killed a lot of people and burned them in mass graves like all over the country in Burundi there's mass graves of dead bodies of from those killings you know and to this point people dig down and see the, the, the evidences and stuff you know so it's just it's just sad that humans can do something like that you know yeah it's true we are our worst enemies and it's true humans can turn evil and it's true human kills lies hate who do all kind of bad things i swear to god like that's why most of us are going to her no wonder there's hell because some people deserve nothing but going to her they don't deserve heaven at all <laughs> for real and i just feel like we can do so much better like if we, we if everybody's trying to have like very understanding be understanding and try to not be judgy or like stereotype people or like have this like prejudice about people and just get to know people who are different from them like and see who they are as people now what you thought about them or why you why you see but really why you experienced yourself you know from them you know I think the world will be so much better with better praise. If you are just like be selfless and accept other people and be understanding, I guess, you know. I just feel like all of this hate like comes from people with power, like bad politicians who do bad politics of discriminating one group or one type of people or what, you know, bad leaders who are selfish and they want to to just profit from people or to be like didactalized or to to learn like pretty much like not do what their responsibilities for the people for the civilians you know and there's also people with people in a power position like people with titles like people who 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 have power over like you know certain like groups or um communities or like those kind of people i feel like so they have the power to prevent it and they have the power to 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 preach love to to unite people to to calm things down but when they are the ones who have those kind of like stereotype like mindset of like discriminating hating of like um trying to to finish other people kind of like to to um to hold down other people then things you know that's what created all these problems like from people with power power positions and power titles and um leaders and what wow, those those people when they are bad and have bad intentions bad um agendas or bad um they're not good for people they just there for themselves or for their own strong groups or for their own profits then that's when we experience all of these like problems in our countries or communities you know word you know it's it's from those people um, like from my own experience i realized that people don't really hate each other like people like at the moment of like i don't see anybody like wanting like oh i want to kill her like of course there's problems in the peoples in the communities but you find so many people like they want they want to just be free like without all these problems and these conflicts and these wars and and this hate and all of this like people just want to like get it wrong and stuff and then you see these people that want to profit from something who are maybe leaders or with power positions power titles or 
or like a bit people period that want to like do better to harm others and they just want to profit from and decide like almost like um imprinting imprinting this ideology of hating other peoples or like discriminating discriminating other peoples so they can profit from it you know it's because they benefited from it they profited from it that's why you know so that's why i just feel like as a people we need to really like be open-minded and know that change comes within us you know that my voice matter your voice matter and your actions matter be able to stand up and fight for what is our our light our democracy our freedom and stand up for what we believe and the really choose the light leaders to their to let the people like the light leaders who are there for the people all the people not people to put us in troubles like wars killings hate and all that because you guys we are tired of it like we are tired like the world in general has been in so much stuff like our countries have been in so much terrible stuff like oh and yeah <laughs> we are tired so you guys um that's why i just say like this year has just been terrible 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 to terrible like we lost so much people oh my gosh like chadwick basement your black panther he died you guys i cried like because I really loved him in that movie like oh my god he really acted really go cool. like he I, I, I fell in love with in, in his character pretty much like I was like oh my gosh like his accent was everything like oh my gosh like yo and then he died like it was shocking to me as to so many people I was mad and stuff this year it just needs to be cancelled I'm not gonna lie yeah <laughs> yeah it's just been too much for you from coronavirus principal brutality black club matter protest to losing a lot of people in my Burundi and american community to losing um one of the wahil Burundi and hilo like our president our precious president creating colonies uh, to losing so many people from coronavirus to being locked down for months <laughs> not being able to see your friends and family some people lost lost jobs and stuff you know to losing Chadwick Chadwick's basement you guys what a what a sad thing you know to so having all this like uh the membrace and stuff like it's it's just too much you guys it's just too much and it would just should just cancel this year and just wait for for the next year so you guys um that's what i wanted just to say you know as much as like we lost so much people and stuff and there's so much has been going on it is probably people who wasn't affected at all like you know but for me in my community in the world in general in um as a people as a whole in general i feel like i was affected you know yeah it's just it's just so much and yeah let's keep praying and let's keep hoping that like maybe next year will be much better than this but yeah hopefully we <laughs> hopefully we guys but yeah let's continue to pray let's continue to be strong and keep our heads up and keep fighting for what we believe in keep it like speaking out for what we believe in standing up for what we believe in stand up for ourselves for people you know and just put your peace and hope that hopefully um the world will be peaceful our countries will be peaceful people will be peaceful like we won't hate, hate each other because of our differences and we won't face all these like um diseases <laughs> diseases going on like um um whatever pandemics going on you know so yeah guys yeah thank you so much for watching uh i'll catch you next time uh, in another video with another topic you know so yeah stay tuned stay tuned for my um for my next videos i'm going to be like i mentioned in the previous video i'm going to be trying to be staying consistent i just give you a video a week you know now nah, i'm not gonna uh disappear <laughs> again from months you know I didn't mean to but it happened but yeah subscribe 
before you click out this video and um stay tuned for the next videos and yeah stay safe stay strong keep praying yeah we will be okay by um uh, hopefully let's hope for let's be hopeful yeah because we can't just also as much as it's hard to not think about it but we can't just dwell into what's going on at the time sometimes we just be like it'll be okay it'll be it'll be it'll be good it'll be We'll, we'll be okay <laughs> so yeah um thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time in another video bye